Um, so today I'm going to be cleaning out the cages and I'll be filming while I clean. Well, for some parts, but all right. Let's start off with this. Hold on. Um, turn off the lamp. Put the lamp. Put the lamp right here. Open. Okay, so I open it and I'm gonna take out the snake. This is my ball python's cage. There he is. Okay, so I just took him out, and uh, I had to get my my little bin. I'm gonna put him in the bin so he doesn't escape while I'm cleaning his cage. Second, I'm going to remove all the things and, well, I should have planned a way more head, but I guess I'll just put it, put it there. Got a bunch of plants, water, and here plants, I'll go there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave those in here. Okay, so I got a garbage can right now, and I'm gonna start scooping. Just let me change my hands on the camera. You probably won't be seeing all of this, but this is what, what I'm gonna show you. Ooh. So basically I'm getting all the large chunks out right now with a scoop. And then all the small re remaining like dust sized particles will be um, will be vacuumed out and then I'll rinse it out with water and disinfect it a little. Okay, so I got my my vacuum ready, and I'm gonna turn it on and vacuum now. Uh. Yeah, I gotta find the power. Okay, found it. Alright, now that we got um, everything all vacuumed and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this downstairs to the tub and give it a quick rinse, um, clean it out, and that will be that. I gotta do this for two tanks, but I'm only showing it for one, which is my ball python. But uh, I'll show you guys when I set it back up. Alright. Okay, so I uh, brought the tank down to the tub, gonna give it a good rinse. Um, yeah. Okay, so give me a good rinse. So you know, top to bottom, water, hot water. Get all the get all the walls. Okay, so I'm gonna use some uh some little disinfecting. It's not it's not petzyme for dogs, it's it's actually my own uh, secret thing that I use to clean tanks and it's proven to be all natural and uh, effective so you can use that just spray the whole tank and let it sit for a few 
and uh, yeah, after it'll be all clean and rinse it out with water, but I gotta scrub it out first. Okay, now that I let it soak for a few minutes, I'm gonna just uh, scrub the whole tank. Make sure everything's all clean. Okay, now after that, turn back on the hot water. Give it a rinse it really well. Don't want any leftover mildew from, uh, from what you use to clean the tank with. And once I'm done this, I'll be done. Dry it with paper towels, and uh, I'll see you back upstairs. Okay, so I got aspen snake bedding for the ball python, and uh, reptile bark for my bow constrictor. Um, it, I got them at the reptile expo. It's cheaper there, so don't buy your stuff at the pet store unless you need to. Um, it's seven to nine bucks here in Canada, but I don't know about the states. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut open the bags and then pour it pour it in the tank. All right, so just gonna set up the ball python's cage first. Got your hide right there. Got your driftwood. Make sure uh, for something to scrape off the shed if they need to. Uh, decoration and some plants. for uh, environment look. Make it more, look more natural. And last thing, water bowl. Water bowl. And uh, yeah, move on to the red tail boas. All right, um, red tail boas cage now. Hide, toss that in there. Driftwood thing. Second hide. Tree or branch. And more leaves. Get a good shot of it. Okay. All right. Gonna take out the ball python, put him back in his cage. Hopefully, he likes the new aspen bedding. There we go. And uh, yes, he's like exploring or something. Just sitting there. Okay, this is the bow constrictor. Uh, moving him back in his house. And that's it, folks. Um, that's uh, setting up and cleaning cages for you. All right.